And top four, Stevie versus Sofa Cord. Is this a volcanic mirror? Yes. Oh boy. Get ready for some fun times. He said sarcastically. Um, self court is already one card ahead on deck out. <laughs> uh, so there's that. Understandable. Very understandable. Thanks for hanging out for as long as you did, Claudie. We got a ladybug on both sides. Twin-sided ladybug. Double-edged ladybug. Ladybug edge sword. Volcanic rocket. What? Oh, okay. Stevie just doesn't like to reveal the ladybug, huh? It's like, ah, oh, you're making me click? Too hard. I don't like clicking. My finger hurts. There we go. It's still not stay revealed, which was what it should be, but it's 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 a step in the right direction. We'll make it if we try hard enough. No, <laughs> damn it! I don't even know where my deck is. Uh this is this random pile of cards. This is a deck. No, this is literally a random pile of cards. You know what? Fine. Random pile of cards. Not even the same sleeve color. Alright. For 3,000 points of dual energy, you can do this. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. To make to make this, this, this more interesting while we watch this ladybug mirror. Alright, we're gonna balance this, this random pile of cards on, on, on my wrist or my hand. Come on. Stay. Okay, now bring it in frame. All right, ready? Draw one card. I did it, I did it. I drew Apprentice Magician, Secret Rare. Whew. Ah. All right, thank you for that. That was good, that was a good workout. <laughs> you needed that. Sniper, no effect. I have no idea what that means. Alright, I think that was like Warrior Lady? No, I don't know. I don't know what no effect means. Alright. There's a ladybug in the graveyard somehow. A lot of stuff happening in this game that I missed. But, whatever. This is probably going to go down the deck out anyway. Warning you now. So, uh, this is the official bathroom break of the stream. If you wish to find the perfect time to go, you know, go to the bathroom, get some food, anything like that, I would recommend right now. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take my own advice. I'm going to take a bathroom break. You guys can do the same thing. You know what? Everyone just take a break. Unless you want to watch this. All right, be right back.
still going? Understandable. Uh, is it still game one? How are we? Where are we? Yeah, I think it's still game one. Ah, <sighs> well. Hope everyone had a had a fun bathroom break. <laughs> Hope everyone was able to have fun. Um, yeah. I left. It was the perfect time to take a break in the middle of this stall mirror. But don't worry, guys. Tetra, who has surely played this format a lot, wouldn't call this a stall deck. Uh, yeah. Oh no, Rocket got floodgated. TP, target, wheel, and then not attack. See what I mean? <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, Kaiba. Enough of your stalling. It's time I tribute all three monsters to summon Blaze Accelerator. And I activate Wildfire. Wipe out the field. It's it's not <clears throat> it's not as great as it always is. <clears throat> Kaiba, my Merrick has a special ability. It lets me discard a card from your hand. <laughs> Golden Ladybug. That's exactly the card I wanted to hit. Last time on Yu-Gi-Oh. Now I have Golden Ladybug, and you don't. This puts me at a distinct advantage. I am also the main character, which also puts me at an even bigger advantage. Nightmare Wheel on a token. You must be desperate. You must realize your wheel only makes me stronger. I still refuse to use the Stay Revealed button. Every turn, I will reveal separately to you one card in my hand. Is this the most annoying way to do this? Yes. But, I am the main character. So I inherently have the privilege of being as annoying as I want to be. Now go, my token. Attack with the token beam. <laughs> this child's body which I am possessing for my own selfish gain is of great use. Any other main characters in chat? <laughs> we are all the main characters in our lives, do not worry. The universe surely revolves around you and plot armor will always save you from any kind of embarrassment. It's the undefeated volcanic player versus the volcanic player who took a loss. Will both players be five and one? I think I'm done. <clears throat> you can only keep that up for so long if you don't have like a noted like script of what to say. Absolute quality gameplay from both sides. Sure. Exhilarating. Well, at least we're attacking. Nope, we're ruined. Wait. Right, okay. That works. Widespread chain, widespread works. It's fine.
accelerator. Oh, hit the accelerator. That's pretty good if self core doesn't draw a rocket. I'm trying. I really am. Ah, uh, Stevie finally using Stay Revealed. Told you we'd get there if we tried hard enough. Big hits! We have the gameplay! And self accord with the classic no admit defeat, no GG, just simply quit, close your browser, shut down your PC, leave the house, go outside, don't even acknowledge anything, don't even acknowledge Yu Gi Oh! exists when you lose. Understandable. All right. It's time for the second, much more interesting top four match of Drake versus Justice. And no, it's not a JDG mirror because this is not JDG Justice. This is the other Justice. It's a beatdown mirror. That's right. Uh, the mirrors, the, the top four matches were both mirrors. So we were guaranteed Volcanic and beatdown in, in the finals. Isn't that nice? All right, let's do this. Think phase from Drake to start the game. Drake has been talking a lot about the mirror. So um, hopefully that pays off. Two beatdown top two, Okanic top. Yeah, great format. You have your Konami. Summon generic monsters and stall. It's great. It's it's great. Good job, Co Money. You did it. You fixed speed duels. Oh look. It's a generically strong monster. And another one. Meta could literally be anything. That's right, we don't know. Uh, I think Droid is better as a side deck card. Pitch Black is better main deck. Dust Tornado at end of main phase, sure. Drake thinking on that one. Going to chain book onto Droroid, sure. In case of like shrink or something, I guess, right? You wouldn't want to lose the monster. Cyber Dragon gets in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, it's an unplayable monster, Gate Guardian. It's another unplayable monster in Water Dragon. It's another unplayable monster in Tempest. Surely you want to buy this product. What's that? You don't? We'll have to sell it for $6? That sucks. How could this have happened? Double offerings and beatdown for the win. Drake commentarying before admitting defeat. Understandable. You were concerned they made Gade Guardian like Ma? There wasn't a skill that said tribute one monster your opponent controls, summon a Gate Guardian from your deck.
I mean, yeah, Gate Guardian's never gonna be playable unless you give it something broken, right? So... It's just, there's no purpose of it being... Like, a big part of a product. Like, it can, it can be in the card pool, like, whatever, but... You can't build a product around Paradox Brothers. Oh, gotcha, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, except for people who are like anime copers who are already in the Speed Duel community, Paradox Brothers doesn't appeal to anyone, right? Um... An entire product based around one episode of GX, which most Yu-Gi-Oh players probably don't even know happened, is is just terrible, terrible product placement, marketing, whatever you want to call it. Jinzo gonna get in. Is there a shrink or a book here, or is this just it? There's a book. Okay. I mean, okay, but a DLC GX box isn't going to sell well, right? Like, nobody's going to care about that, especially when it doesn't actually do much to the format itself. The cards aren't cool or exciting, right? Like, think about the GX box, right? At least you got Cyber Angels, which a lot of people like. You got Cyber Darks, which a lot of people like. So, Crystal Beast, a lot of people like, right? I, I don't think anything in this box is like a fan favorite archetype or deck, right? Like, Water Dragon, Roids, reprinting Elemental Heroes, Gate Guardian pieces, like, none of that is is good enough. Uh, meanwhile, this guy is at 1400 after the wall. So it's not going to get over Jinzo. <clears throat> Man, would not like to be Drake right now. This Jinzo is way too strong. Shrink doesn't even work anymore. Yes. Being Drake is tough sometimes. Ah, uh, truly. When you enter battle phase, offerings the Jinzo on battle phase enter. Okay. Bink from Justice. Alright. Offerings will resolve. widespread the Druroid. So we don't draw, but we were able to out the board. Gaia 1400 is worth attacking with. We're going to see the best and worst book used here. Well, we didn't see it right there, but I think it would make sense to just save it for now. Uh, there's Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon plus Gaia, it's so good.
thinking on summon of Gaia. Okay, we're good. Beat down. So 27, 25. Battle phase. I'm gonna go in for 25 for 14 damage. Wall makes it go to 900. Surely no wall is there, and there it is. Booking the Gaia. Okay. Cyber Dragon is now down to 500. But you're Drake, and you don't have, like, another monster, say, right? I think you probably still kill this Cyber Dragon instead of going... Because going to defense mode doesn't do anything. That Gaia, that Gaia is going to be stronger than yours regardless of if you're in attack or defense. But does have, looks like, Jinzo. Okay. I, a Drillroid would have been great. Going to get rid of the Gaia. I like that. Because if it flips up and beat down, it can actually get over Jinzo. Oops, no, ah, no, sorry, ah, I, that, oops, you didn't see it. Well, we know what's going to happen. All right, here we go. Beat down. All right. Drawing a card when you're not supposed to is probably a scoop. Game three. You know when you think about it? Drawing a card when you're not supposed to? Is that really just a way of like, being like, you didn't beat me, I got DQ'd for cheating. Getting a game loss. Yeah, I mean, dropping a big monster every turn is really good. In, in generic Yu-Gi-Oh, where we're still stuck. Because they refuse to give us multiple good archetypes, but, you know. Whatever. After a think phase, Justice will summon a Drillroid. Okay. Drillroid attacks. Now, if you're Drake, you know this has to be a, a battle trick. Some damage step card. So, do you let this go? Oh, it could be a book. Because Droid's ability. Okay. There it is. Alright. Book chain book. Both monsters face down. That actually helps Drake now because the Gaia does get a buff. People weren't really on shrink. Yeah, I guess that's just you. Offerings on Gaia that will get rid of that unless we have another book. Nope. Dust Tornado. It's not impossible to win the game here. Surely. Everyone is only allowed to have one signature card, and once you pick a signature card, nobody else can play that card. 
Yeah, that's that's potential lethal. You have to stop one of these attacks. If you Drake. Going to have to shrink the guy up. Barely survive. Body signature cars is moth. Well, that's not a car brand I've ever heard of, but sure. Uh, beatdown is really good on your turn. As we just see right now. All right, Drake is taking control of this game. Uh, but a Cyber Dragon turns it around. Or a Gaia. Destiny Dre. Ah oh, oh, the worst draw in the deck. Oof. Alright. It's time for the finals. We're going with Drake and Stevie. Here we go. Who will win the biggest share of the $1,000? We tried to complain and your deck will hear you, that's right, yes. Did you lose every RPS today? I don't know, you tell me. Ladybug opening is not good for Drake. Neither is Rocket opening. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to hide hands. You didn't see it, don't worry. Vision is fake. Rocket crash? Damage step or be shrinking? Be shrinking. Mind fitty, but you get a counter. Worth. Floodgate on the Charging Gaia. But one Charging Gaia does get to get in for 22. Again, this is the only chance you have of beating this deck when they have a Ladybug. You have to hit them early on and get them low life points before they can start to really set up everything. Right, which is Blaze plus TP, having multiple counters plus Ladybug. Now Stevie's almost... He's almost there. He's got the TP gain plus one right now. He got that, right? And has a ladybug. Like I already said that. Uh, he just needs a shell or wildfire. Wildfire works. I mean, if you're Drake, you have to play around the wildfire here, right? You can't place more monsters on the field. Going to do it. Going to summon the extra monster. For two chances at lethal. Not respecting the wildfire at all. And there it is. Oh, but had the dust tornado. Actually respecting the wildfire because had the answer to it. Beautiful. All right, game two. Right. 
Alright, Stevie or Drake starting off with the think phase, going charging Gaia. Once again, a ladybug opener for Stevie. Again, that just puts you a little bit closer to having everything set up where you can't lose. Calm down, respect master. Uh... Warrior Lady will crash into Gaia. It's a good 400 counter. So again, Ladybug plus counter. You're already getting to a point where it's becoming really hard to beat the Volcanic deck if it gets set up a little bit more. Just needs Blaze Excel plus Shell. There's Pitch Black. See, and now do you want to do damage? Because if you do, you might lose a card in hand. Or worse, if there's a Blaze plus Shell, you'll lose the Pitch Black. Well, you would lose that anyway to the Blaze Accelerator. So it's just about the card in hand. And the main phase, Nightmare Wheel. Well. Think. Yep. Going to dust the wheel. Okay. Battle phase. Alright. Uh, no traps now. Got a little more damage here. So this is... This just comes down to... Can Drake be a little more aggressive next turn? Or is Stevie going to take control of the game permanently now? Set one, reveal that it's not Ladybug. So you got to read that that's Shell, right? Or Warrior Lady. We have seen Warrior Lady. So, Warrior Lady would be rough because you only have 1600s. That's going to stall you out of this Warrior Lady. But if it's Shell, the Banisher is really good. That is Shell. Banisher was absolutely a really good top deck. If that was the top deck. I think it was. That takes one that takes one shell completely out of rotation. It slows down having shells for Blaze Accelerator. The Banisher does get destroyed now, but that might be too late for Stevie. If you could just beat down, activate beat down on this Warwolf, you might have it here. Just need to drop deck either Jinzo, which wins without needing Warwolf, or Charging Gaia. Looks like we got neither. Must be Cyber Dragon. Warwolf will do 1600 instead. Ah, that's so tough. Ladybug has gained, what, 2000 life points by this point? I think didn't discard because wanted to save the TP for just removing a monster from the field. Since it looks like Stevie doesn't have a lot of monster removal left. Um, alright. Setting the ladybug in truly desperate times. Jinzo no longer guaranteed wins this turn. Just gonna have to set a card and get over this ladybug. But at least you stop the life point game. You push your opponent into enough of a corner where you did it. Well, beat down one. Stevie uh, couldn't draw anything to 
Yeah, Wildfire Jinzo Floodgate. That's not going to do it. Those are all bricks at this point. Had a second Wildfire. Here's where having two Wildfires can sometimes be bricky. Uh, Drake had Mind Crush as well. So even if uh, Blaze Accelerator would have been searched with Rocket, it would have just crushed it. Yeah, uh, Drake was in a really good position that game. So, all right. Uh, Alain will probably be posting the lists very soon. So look for that. But as for the Speed Duel League series, thank you everyone who came out and played. Thank you to everyone who was in stream, watching, hanging out. Congratulations to Drake for winning, to Stevie, Sofacord, and, um, oh God, who was it? Hold on, I, I, I know. Uh, Justice, that's right. Uh, for getting top cut. Uh, sorry for everyone who went 4-1 and bubbled. So, uh, yes, surely it was you, the JDG Justice. But, uh, yeah, sorry for everyone who went 4-1 bubble, but we only had, like, 30 people play. So, top four did make a lot of sense for that reason. But, all right. Um... Thank you everyone for coming out once again. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're still here, thank you. But uh, I think I'm only going to post a top four cut on YouTube and not the whole thing because that'd be way too long. It's a freaking five hour thing. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, Terra Master out.